Hello, I'm Freddie Flintoff, and this lad here is Larry King. In the business, he's known as the grooming guru, and he's going to show us how to keep some great looking stubble. Here every morning. Lads, we're here to talk about male grooming, and with us we've got the grooming guru, Larry <laughs> King. <laughs> what about you? Have you got a have you got a grooming routine? If I'm going out. A little shower. I want to get my hair wavy. <laughs> what about your beard? Your, your um, stubble. I like, I like having stubble like you. Yeah, I just want to like, make it look alright. Like. Is that a beard? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I'm so <laughs> neck heavy with my beard. I'm like, <laughs> You're so neck heavy. <laughs> neck heavy. Do you not find it gets a bit irritating when you were playing? Or when I first started playing cricket, it was a team rule. You had to be clean shaven because cricket was gentleman's game. Yeah. So as soon as I started being able to shave, I let it grow a little bit and you got fined. And it was 50 quid a day, you weren't shaved. So I was paying a fortune, I was paying for free. <laughs> Fred, looking a bit rough and ready around the edges. I think we need to get you in the chair. So what we use is the super stubble. It's got a really good gradient, so we'll take it up to two. So what are the secrets to make your stubble look good? I think it's about basically taking it to the desired length and then round the edges, say under your chin, your cheeks, fading that off so it's a bit shorter, just so it naturally blends. So why don't you give it a go? Are you trying to get yourself out of a job here? I am. Really feel the tension and the glide. Can you feel the way the head moves to yeah. the face? Usually what I do is I get my thing and I push it right on and I'll be hacking away at it. But this, you can feel it taking it off. Yeah. And I'm not putting much pressure on. No, you don't need to. So you're taking the length down, you don't need to do anything else to it. The area that's just where your neck meets your chin, yeah. just literally fade that off a little bit, gently. Where I've taken it down to one millimetre, I'm literally just gently fading it into the length we was at. Same with the cheeks. Yeah. When people have a clean shirt afterwards, they moisturise or put something on, don't they? Is yeah. that the same with it? Yeah, I would definitely still use normal facial moisturiser. It's not like a beard where you need to use beard oil yet. And you can basically just detach the head and then you can use the blade clean on its own with no guard. What are you going to do with that? We're just going to literally take off any real random hairs that are on your neck that are a bit lower. And then you have it, Fred. We're done. All done. Go on, recap what we've done. Took the stubble down to the desired length, faded off the cheeks, and faded under the chin. Beautiful. <laughs>